This is the Archer's Choice. Welcome, Welcome to, to this week's Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. This week is the buffet show. Buffet. It's not a buffet. You've tried that over. It's a okay. buffet. Do you want to make it a buffet show? Yeah, let's make That's a buffet. Look up in the dictionary. It is. It is to hit with a hand or fist. It's not my fault. I looked it up. Buffet You're kidding is me. a food or an assortment of stuff. A buffet is that. So from now on, it's going to be a this buffet show. Welcome to this week's buffet show. You don't like buffet anymore? No. I'd like to keep buffeting you. Anyways, we this week on the later. show, this week on the show is the McKinsey logo for the Lucky Logo. And in case you guys are having a hard time finding it, we're going to be really subtle with it this week. Um, it's a McKinsey logo. It we says are the like lolly McKinsey pumpkins. targets on it, and so we just want to make sure you do that. It's a buffet show because we have all kinds of different animals going on. And we're gonna start off with Russ Melling. Russ Melling, our Manitoba posse. Did you just call him a melon? No, Melling. Let's go melon. into Russ's bear hunt. Russ, I was you kidding. You called him I, a melon. I, it was a stutter. It was come because you buffeted me. I gotta get bigger trees. We have been sitting here all night watching these rubbed out little bears come in. Sent us, they're coming right down our trail. Anyways, this guy came in, I didn't even see him. He was just all of a sudden there popping his jaws. I drew at him two or three times and he just lay down facing us. I don't know if the wind swirled or if he got some movement, but uh, he started staring at us and coming at us. I came to full draw when I thought he was relaxing and then he didn't turn and he didn't turn. Oh, and he did turn as soon as I saw the opening. I smacked him. Well, you can smell him. There we go. Boom. He is right there. Boom. Eastern Manitoba, spring bear season. I'll tell you, uh, what an exciting night. We had bears all over the place. I was waiting for a nice solid boar to come in, and all I got were sows coming in. Until this guy showed up. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now, we sent Joe to Ohio for to, to hunt a pig of a whitetail. Hog of a whitetail. Hog of a whitetail, so let's just get into his footage. I think next time we need to be more specific. Yes. We're in Ohio, Clear Creek Outfitters with Todd Frank. We just had a weather change. We had pouring rain last night. Temperature dropped probably 20 degrees. It was 
was almost 80 yesterday. We sat 13 hours waiting for a buck that Jim had an encounter with a couple days ago. Never showed, it was just too hot. We are pumped this morning. This looks hot. It's already 9 o'clock. And these deer, I think, are still in the fields. So when they start coming back to bed, which is right over my shoulder, I think we're going to get some action. Yeah, we'll see. I guess that's just not the hog Joe's looking for. Tip of the week. Bow hunting world tip of the week is shot placement and using a tree to shoot 360 degrees. Yes, that's right. You know, a lot of times you get up in a, on a field edge or even in the timber and you set your stand up facing the trails. The problem is, is you're opening yourself up to being seen. Turn around, we've got our rock and it allows us because of the cut of the platform to shoot 360 degrees around the tree. Setting up this way with the trunk facing where the deer, the majority of the deer are coming from, allows us to hide behind the trunk. And then we just come out to the edge and we take our shot, whether it's on that side or whether it's on this side. So please set those stands up with the trunk facing. You actually have your back towards them, but most of the time we're standing anyways. This will help you to become more successful and that is your bow hunting world tip of the week. Joe, this was not what we were thinking when we said go kill a hog of a whitetail. This little piggy went to the market. This big piggy's going home with Joe.
problem with these pigs. And he said, if we see one, go ahead and smoke it. Well, it's about 10.30, quarter to 11. We haven't seen a buck yet. So we went pig hunting. that big from the tree. Wow. Well, they wanted some pigs out. I guess we'll have bacon for breakfast. Clear Creek Outfitters, Todd Frank here in Ohio. It's opening weekend for Whitetail. We've been waiting for the wind in this field we're trying to get into. It just hasn't been right. So put us back up here in this timber spot looking for some bucks this morning. Figured they'd come through between eight and nine is where they've been seeing them on this ridge. But uh, they said they had these pigs up in here too, uh, causing a lot of damage in that. So. We figured we'll give it a shot and see if we can get a pig. My first pig. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now, let's join owner and outfitter Rod McGrath. For the Buffeted Show. Of McMillan River Adventures, LTD, yes. as he's bow hunting a big bull moose. You know, I was thinking, we got this, and I know you like to share this with everyone. This is the hat Ralph likes to wear up there moose hunting. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be a Buffett show. Oh. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now, we're gonna join Joel. Right, Inner Lake. Inner Lake Wild Adventures, up yep. in Manitoba. Same place Russ got his. You know what, I wanna make a statement that I'm glad Joe wasn't hunting. Right, cause he would've been looking for that kind of white This tail. hog of a bear, yeah. He'd, yeah, you know. you're right, let's just get into Joel's hunt, shall we? Leave it to Joe. Bear. 
it hasn't been touched since yesterday. There's more than a couple of bears on this bay. So it's actually not a bad thing. That likely means there's a hot sow and all the boars are following the sow around. We just need her to come in. And uh, if she comes in, it's gonna be a crazy night. goodness we're sitting here we're freezing out here <laughs> we heard a, dig, a twig snap uh, I actually said to Russ we're actually just praying for something to happen because it's so cold and the barrels are still standing figured oh well one of those nights this guy walks in. I actually went and found my arrow last night couldn't help myself uh, there's good dark blood on it so we figured it hit a, a vital organ of some kind and uh, that he's not going to be too far down the trail, so I'm going to go get him. What a beautiful bear. He didn't make it, uh, I don't think he went 60 yards. <laughs> wow. What a gorgeous bear. Unbelievable. Perfect coat. Uh, what a nice bear. He's huge. <laughs> We sure hope you enjoyed this week's Archer's Choice on our Buffett Show. That's a Buffett. Remember, Buffett. To pound, to beat with one hand or fist. Buffet show. Thank you. We want to thank Rod, Joel, Russ for sending in our footage. And Absolutely. Being you know our posse. Woo, Canadian posse. You the rock. The Manitoba posse. Yeah, I know. Oh, we should thank Joe for shooting his oh, you hog. And I'm glad that he didn't bear hunt yes exactly if you saw the mckinsey logo you need Which, to and if you didn't you might need to go get glasses but if you did you need to go on to huntingnet.com slash archer's choice and let us know where you found it because someone's going to have a 3d target coming to them cool 3d very cool very, very Be prepared cool. for the season so we hope that you enjoyed this week's show we'll see you next week same time same channel right here on, on the, the archer's, archer's choice. choice maybe we'll have another buffett show i said buffet